Good morning, Soul Family. Well, I can still see smoke over the hill, but the fire is under control in Trabuco Canyon, so that's good. I've got Lily, she's allowed to stay outside right now. <clears throat> and, uh, man, I gotta tell you, I can't, <sighs> I wanna go home so bad, I can't stand it. I got, I'm gonna just start looking into my flights back. My dreams last night were so disgusting. I don't even want to be, I don't even want to know the people I'm connected to. It's so vile and disgusting. I have watched all of this stuff for such a long time and I'm so sick of it. I really am. I wish that spirit would just completely allow this disconnection to happen. I mean, I kind you know, sever, sever, sever. Let's see what comes up in our readings, but God. Here's what you're gonna choose from. The shaman stone, <clears throat> the dreamer stone, the bent starfish. This is angel, um, phantom angel quartz. I I was using this last night, last night in a private reading. This is uh, in the shape of a fox head, camouflage. It's a cat, or I always think that it's a fox though because of the fact that it looks like it's camo colors, and the fox is the art of camouflage, flexibility, and then the little spear. Put it. They kind of go together. This gives you an idea of the different ways that you can find it. So, angel phantom quartz. See what's in the middle? See the, see the crystal inside? <clears throat> what happens is one crystal begins to form, and then it's halted. And then another crystal forms over top of it. So the phantom is inside. And then this bunch of bracelets that look like a bunch of seaweed, a tangled mess. Cords. These are like commitments, ties, infinity ties, so like endless loops. Can't think of anything positive to say about it right now, sorry. Pretty colors, lots of power in the energy, how about that? So those are your four items that you can choose from. Um, the decks that I'm going to use will be the animal tarot cards. And what other cards? I think the vampire deck. I don't know, that sounds like a lot of work for me. <clears throat> I'm spending too much work on these deck, I mean on these readings. So it won't be the fan it won't be the vampire deck. I'm pretty tired of vampires actually. <gasps> you know? Tap it into my energy. So I'll do the, the new cards again, the blessed bee, and we'll do them as a follow-up. The animals first, blessed bee is the follow-up clarifiers. One more. Shuffle and then we're ready to rock. Uh, which ones do I want to choose? Geez, you know, at this point, <sighs> I guess I guess out of the you know, it's, <laughs> I'm just thinking, out of the choices I have in front of me, I don't, I, I would rather not choose any of them in all reality. So, I'm not going to. I don't want anything I see in front of me. So, I'll let you guys just have yours. And at 4 minutes and 22 seconds, we go to the phantom, I mean to the, interesting that I called that the phantom, because it is. The shaman stone. Okay, so we'll start with the cat. Interesting that I called it the cat. There's reasons I, you know, even though I don't want to choose to be a part of any of these cards, <laughs> I'm still getting the messages Spirit wants me to look at, even though I don't want to look at them. So I called them the cat. The cat and the snowy owl, they're the same person. So whatever that means to you, I already know that. 
So there's a message coming from this cat owl. The snowy owl, the silent flyer. There's a transformation that's taken place. There's been all kinds of secrets. Secrets about family, taking sides. He's dipped his letter into the water. So it's a very emotional letter. I feel that it's coming. It's about a couple of people at least that stand on different sides of their emotional waters, both very strong, both equal. They're not seeing, I don't know if they're not, they're seeing eye to eye, they can see, but they don't, they, they choose to be on different sides of this emotional water at this time. So, <laughs> this is a wise decision that right now it's time to pause and reflect and not take action. Trust in the spiritual gifts that you are given. Nothing is hidden anymore. And that's a fact. So, I would say that the message for that is everything is coming, everything has come to light. And if it hasn't come to light, it will be very shortly. You, you are seeing correctly what you're looking at. And you might be seeing what others don't. So, the owl wants you to be quiet and just kind of watch and think. There are people that are not able to see apparently what you can see. And this is about planning, thinking ahead about what it is that you want to do. This is a time, the owl is quiet and they watch, they observe, right? This is the observer. I heard in my dreams a few years ago. That's why I, I observe, it keeps me from getting in trouble my higher self speaking. So right now, just like I didn't want to discuss anything, that's, that's, that's the message. You don't need to. Whatever it is that you know already, <laughs> just marinate. Listen to what other people are saying, but keep your thoughts to yourself. Don't share any more at all. Right now, you have knowledge as an owl. The owl has knowledge. The owl has wisdom. But knowledge is information, right? You're holding information. It's very emotional information. You might want to drown that information personally. But your experience is asking for you to wait for the perfect time. The owl is able to see in complete darkness and able to find the truth. So if you listen to your intuition, you really, if you actually pay attention to what you've already gotten, because you already know, you're going to see things clearly. A blessing for those who are nearing their final breath. So, to me, this is a death of a situation that I'm looking at. Death of a relationship, death of an idea, death of, of, of what you have believed. And Spirit is showing you the number 43. No, 40, yeah, 43, no surprise at all. So, comes to seven. You're on the right path. It will exceed your expectations. Move forward. The iris, the fleur de lis, that's a royal flower, purple, spiritual. Hold on to your spirituality. Hold on to your truth. It's a lot of passion. It could be anger, but also groundedness at the same time. So maybe you need to get grounded at this time. Accept what has happened and allow it to pass. Honor the lessons. Release what is no longer there. It could be somebody that was some, someone that meant something very much to you. Whether this is a physical death or a death of a, of a relationship. This is an honoring 
the memory that was there. There was goodness. This is about perhaps maybe you yourself are passing, honoring your life and spirit is easing you into a place of grace. Looking back on your life and realizing the beauty of your life and the lessons that you learned. To me, I'm, it's hard for me because this, this literally could be speaking about someone's physical self dying. Or you could literally physically feel like a part of you is dying because of what you've experienced, what you've understood. So spirit is coming forward to comfort you and allow the kindness around you to be felt. If you are someone that's leaving this earth plane, spirit is also with you to comfort you and your family. Allow people to help you move from this world into the next. Anything that you need to say, please say it. Don't allow anything to be left unsaid. It's very important. As I, my mom laid there dying. She was in a coma and she was breathing very deeply. Her body was filling with fluids. And I started to talk to her. And as I did, her voice, I mean her, um, the sound got very quiet. She, she was listening. And everything I needed to say, I said. Everything. I didn't want anything to be left. The anger, the upset, the questions. I asked her questions, I asked her to show me things. If she was able to come back, I wanted her to show me. If there was life after passing, if she would come to me. And she did come to me. Everything that you need to see clearly, and things haven't been said, it needs to be said now. If you are someone who is slipping away into the spirit realm again spirit is blessing you for your kindness and your generous moments and remembering all of the beautiful things that you've done allowing your mistakes to be forgiven and understood and the mistakes that you made that hurt others that others look at that and learn from that not to make those mistakes as well knowing that you've lived a long life a good life no matter how, what you feel. Maybe it hasn't been long enough for you, but your soul contract is up and, wow, that's just another message. Your soul contract is up, it's over. The situation is complete. Whether it be a relationship or whether it be a life here. You have been loved, you, you have loved, you have fallen, and now you're about to rise back into spirit. Or if you are in a this ending of this relationship or this thought or this belief or this soul contract you have loved you have fallen and you will get back up after this again so this is about the veils parting with the owl this could have been what we saw this could have been a will right this could have been final words spoken I kept getting wills and contracts coming into your life but as I said it could be the will being read the final words being read of someone passing or it could be the contract your soul contract is complete and as you take your last breath and you prepare to move forward May it be gentle. Spirit is asking for a blessing on your departure. And knowing that the ones you leave behind, you are remembered in them. You are seen in them. Your legacy is left with them. And even after you're gone, and years pass and memories fade, there's still gifts that were left by the lessons and the experiences that you went through. So right now, it's saying goodbye, a farewell, into something you've not experienced as a physical person until perhaps you come back in another form. Or for you, 
moving forward from this karmic soul connection that is now complete and you're going into the unknown on your journey forward and this is a blessing for you at 15 minutes and 17 seconds we go to the bent starfish This way I saw him as warrior pose. This way he's running. This way he's waving goodbye. And this is what he was this morning. Chipped and bent. Crown's got to straighten out that psychic antenna. Interesting. I did a reading last night and this is one of the messages that came up. The, it goes along as well with the first message as well as not speaking. The koala bear talks about empathic abilities and it's about speaking less and listening more, feeling the vibration. You see this little bear snuggled up in its healing eucalyptus tree. Eucalyptus is a very healing and protective tree. If you burn the eucalyptus leaves, that is a protection, just like sage. And this one feels safe asleep in this tree. So it might be that you are, this is blue, which is the color of speech and protection. So first of all, protection, you're protected, you're safe and protected. But you may be choosing to stay asleep and not speak your truth, not see it, because winter is cold emotion, frozen emotion, going nowhere. Four, if you're concerned about safety, you're completely surrounded in a safe haven. And four represents angels. There are angels all around you. You're completely guided, protected, and loved. There's no reason for fear. And again, al along with the first message, think things through carefully before making a decision. The overanalyzing isn't getting anywhere. You're going nowhere when you overanalyze, and it's just tying you into knots, so step away from it. There is no resolution when you overanalyze. So spirit wants you to go in, into your meditation, into your quiet recesses of your mind, where you can actually hear what spirit has to say. A good place to do that would be in nature. And it's time to take a vacation, <laughs> which is what I'm doing. You know, put away all the bullshit that's been spinning around. This is about, you don't have to make a decision. Not now. Spirit's really encouraging you to take some time and think it through. Maybe there's things that you just can't see and meditation will be the place to get it. Or maybe you just are meant to stop looking which is what I want to do. I just want to shut my channel off and take some time and go on a vacation. Spend time in nature, peaceful energy. I can tell you with the dreams that I've been watching, you know, it's not even by choice, but if I got going somewhere else in a different environment, my mind would be focusing on other things and that wouldn't continue to come in and I don't want to look at it anymore. So right now, it's all about quieting your mind and being still so spirit can speak to us. Not us looking, not us asking. Just let spirit speak to us. The koala bear sleeps almost all the time. 20 hours in a day, <laughs> they sleep. So it's telling you that you probably need, that's what I said, I said I need, I, I, I could sleep for two months, <laughs> you know? Definitely lack of sleep. It's also talking about And they symbolize, actually, your dream time. Dreams and messages that come. And the answers that we get during this time, we're being brought by our higher self and spirit. I mean, the messages, I mean, what I've been watching is absolutely not anything less than spirit saying, this, this is why. <laughs> and, you know, like I said, I, I don't want to watch it, but we need to see it. Some things we have to see. 
And sometimes maybe you don't want to see something when you're awake. You just don't want to look at it. You refuse to believe it. You don't want to. But when you go to sleep and you have your dreams and you're shown, you're kind of like a captive audience, right? There's no getting away from the truth. This is beautiful. Especially with that energy. Because this is a blessing for peace of mind, which I love and I accept. That's beautiful. You see the Ascended Masters helping the three ravens. There's so much truth here. This is indigo though. To me, I'm looking at the color of, it's a beautiful, rich periwinkle and light lavender with the, with the brilliant blue. That's not royal blue, that's like lapis blue. That's beautiful, but it's also soft. So to me, I, I see denim because to me, that's the color of all the different colors and relaxed energy. I love that space, it's beautiful. Look at the peacock feather tail, the, the royal blue. I wanna see, remember before I said we were talking about the ravens and I said they're not black, they're not coming out of the void, they're, they're beautiful, they're blue and they're deep and they're iridescent. Blue, deep blue feathers. What bird? I've seen ravens with wing, this color on their wings. Deep blue feathers. Which bird? What birds? Have deep blue feathers. Now birds represent communication. They represent gossip. They are um, angels are also shown as feathers. When you see feathers, when they appear, angels are near, which is of course the blessing. But the color of the blue, you think of the, the blue jay, right? That's the color of blue jay, which is about speech, appropriate speech. Blue Jay speaks about using your voice in a way as to not bully or push anybody around. But it's also about not allowing anyone else to bully or push you around. It's about using your speech appropriately. The bird that, there's a, a Jacarina finch that is this color. The finch speaks about a great deal of sudden activity, so it could be, as I said, information or things coming to light. This color also comes with, what is this bird? Victoria pigeons, interesting. A pigeon is a, is a messenger as well. That's what I feel I'm, I'm seeing. The names are different nationalities. There's a reason I'm looking for this and otherworldly is what I'm hearing. So I think that's why they pulled me away. So otherworldly messengers. So where do we find that? We find that when we're in a quiet space, when we're in nature, when we're in a meditative space. That's when we get the otherworldly messengers. We don't go looking for those. They come to us when we're relaxed. So we ask, the spirit is bringing us actually, we're not asking. Spirit knows there's trouble. Spirit knows that your mind is troubled and they want you to feel peace of mind. There's been too much of this going on far too long. So spirit is wanting us to allow ourselves to feel the energy that they're bringing forward to release 
what we've worried about for far too long and set the burden down and allow spirit to deal with what we can't. Just let it go. Let it be. It's not for us to do what others won't do. It's not for us to explain. It's not for us. It's, it's, it's not for us. It's like, just let it go. Just let peace descend upon you. Let your mind calm and your, let your voice speak calm words, soothing words. Anytime that this starts to come up, anytime that any of this objectionable energy comes to your mind, allow spirit to, to put it like a blanket of peace over you. And allow spirit to, to nurture you in nature. You see the lion and the Actually, what I'm not looking at is, I'm not looking at a lion. I'm looking at the acorn man and his bride, and they are in nature. So to me, it's about focusing more on connecting your spiritual energy to the earth and not to humans. You're alone as you sit there. It's not the time for focusing on relationships. This is about allowing Mother Nature to soothe you, this is allowing you time to work with and love Mother Nature. Do only what you need to do. Today, only what has to be done. Keep yourself away from everybody else and any noise and any disturbance and any negative energy and any news. You know, I get text after text from my landlord about the disasters all around and it's like don't even open them right I mean, people send you me messages all day long negative things. don't even open them this is about being very kind and gentle with yourself today speaking very softly removing yourself from anything that might ruffle your mind or your or your energy just it's about releasing any thoughts that have been tormenting you or torturing you <laughs> that's such a welcome feeling this is so beautiful this is what I like. Allow your body to relax. Float in the water. Float in a bathtub. Get a massage. Go to a float tank. That would be a really good thing to do. Wow, that would be an amazing... You know what? I'm going to call. Have you ever been to a float tank? It's a sound deprivation and light deprivation chamber that's filled with Epsom salt. Re such a heavy amount, concentrated amount. Your body completely is supported 100%. You wanna talk about the best type of sleep that you can get. It's, it's the only time where your body, it's like, it's like you're, you're floating weightless in the universe. And it's saline, so it's drawing from you any negative energy, any toxic energy, thoughts, feelings. But your whole entire body is supported 100% and you can, it's the only time that you can completely relax. Because even in bed, you're, your body tries to support you in some way, your arms, your neck, your back, but you're in, when, when you're in a float tank, you're 100% weightless, floating, supported by something other than yourself. That would be an amazing place to be. If you're feeling isolated or alone or argumentative, this is about if you want to be around anyone at all, they have to be the kindest, most sensitive to you. This is about only self-love self and nurturing. Nowhere else is acceptable for, for today. So be patient with yourself and allow this deep, beautiful feeling to encompass you. I don't feel like you're relaxed. I'm not right now. You know, I feel I'm just kind of sitting here. I'm not um, tense but I'm not at peace and that's she's not either so these are pearls of wisdom coming from spirit asking you what is it that you can do to bring yourself to a place where you can at least accept this these are wis this is wisdom from otherworldly birds the birds of truth they're speaking the words of truth you know this is the truth you're an indigo child you feel the em the energy of so many others. You're empathic and you're picking up way too much and it needs to be released. It needs to go away. At 
29 minutes and 54 seconds. You had something to say? Yeah? Yeah? Okay. Yeah? He looks like a raccoon, doesn't he? Look at his eyes. Interesting that he spoke up right when renewal. So, for you people, we're going to the Phantom Angel Quartz, Angel Phantom Quartz, the raccoon. Interesting, this looks like a fox, but it could be a raccoon too, couldn't it? Time to get clarity about your life purpose and make changes so that you're on the path most divinely suited for you. Forgive what has been done without judgment. Forgive what has been without judgment. They didn't put the comma in the right place. And fearlessly embrace what's to come. So whatever it is that's happened, now's the time for forgiveness. Now's the time for renewing yourself. Release all that bullshit, whatever it was, and accept the renewal. This is a personal transformation of yourself. That butterfly in the front, it's pink with purple, which is love and spirituality. And there's purple all around, which is Archangel Jeremiah is who comes forward. He is the angel of renewal. Since we are in Mercury retrograde, three, full circle completion, three ascended masters working with you. So this is about reevaluating your life. Where have you been? Where, what have you learned? And where do you want to go now? It's about making changes for your life. Absolutely releasing the past. Peace. This is about problem solving, I suppose. And the, the raccoons, they're very nimble. They're very, the dexterity that they have, they're able to find things and they, and they, they uncover things. So this is curiosity about the future. This is about taking inventory, taking stock of your life, right? Where you've been, where you are right now, and, and the main question is, where am I going? And getting clarity with that. It might be time to let go of the life that you're in right now, which is what I have come to the realization of, or people whose values absolutely have no place in your life. They don't have value in your life. They don't match your spiritual path in any way whatsoever but you don't want to go away with anger you want to go away with thank you for finally understanding that right thank you for the realization that I truly 100% don't want this this is not who I align with forgive what has been because we don't want to carry it with us we've carried it enough it's been painful enough and we want to be able to embrace what comes in the future what's in front of us you can't grab on to something fun, new and exciting and adventurous when you're holding on to the past bullshit, right? So release it. And let's be curious about what's coming, what's in front of us. Raccoons are very loyal, especially to, to their families and the ones in their group. They stand together. Good problem solvers. They adapt to situations. As I said, they're very, the dexterity is amazing. What they can do and how they can maneuver and what they can maneuver. And they absolutely are curious, so let's be curious and explore what's in front. What's in front? This is forward. This is coming out of that knot hole, right? And check this out. This branch, you broke, you, you cut that. So it could be a branch of your family tree, a soul family tree. It could be your own personal family, but you have cut that branch to the past. I don't want that. And you know what? Look, there's still life in that. There's green here. But it's not for me. I don't want anything to do with that. I'm now looking for, I, I just snipped that and threw it out of my home. And now I want to know, where am I going? Renewal. Self-renewal. A blessing on the children. That's nice. I say this for my fur children. I'm very concerned right now because of the fires with all of the animals being displaced. That is their home their land is being burned out so i'm asking for a blessing on this planet on on the children and i'm also asking for a blessing on the young ones for ones who abuse children we're supposed to take care of them but there's beautiful a beautiful scene here 
That one's holding on tight to that little unicorn. It's interesting, that little unicorn looks like a bit of a goat, doesn't it? It's a bit of a changeling. This is about nurturing and caring for the love and loving the, the, the ones that have not been. And you know what? This could be your inner child. <laughs> you're a bit of a goat. A stubborn unicorn is what you are. You're a, you're a mix. Yeah, you are. You're a mix. You're difficult. You're a challenge. You have goodness in you, but you are difficult. So Spirit's asking for a blessing on these difficult children, which is the difficult child within us as well. Misunderstood ones. The indigo children. Let there be a transformation of understanding, taking them from a place of ones who don't understand them and don't know how to care for them to a place where the ones who do will. You see three butterflies again, full circle completion, ascended masters assisting. The butterflies are blue, communication and protection. This one is very protected in a safe, beautiful place where there's blossoming growth. So here, may we ask for the children of the world to be blessed and cared for. And if they are not cared for where they belong, that they be taken from where they are and brought to a place of safety. And as they move from their own child-like selves, as they grow and they become aware of themselves, may they be guided by wise ones, ones who understand. This is the crystal children coming forward from the indigo children. May we guide them and help them understand that they, there's nothing wrong with the way you are, the fact that you're different, you're gifted. We're here to teach the children that come after us. And maybe this is us. Maybe this is me. This difficult, stubborn goat. I'm a ram, right? But a unicorn at the same time. I've always ram, had to ram my head through a wall before I got it. Thank God I've got a pointed horn on the front that I can make my way through without destroying my third eye. But sometimes we have to do that. That's the way we learn our lessons. So this is me loving my inner self and realizing you were stubborn. You didn't want to see. You kept forging ahead even though you were given the signs. Full circle, completion, let it go, right? So this is us loving ourselves for our perceived mistakes or for being stubborn or for being having to learn the lesson again and again, falling down, picking ourselves up, falling down. <laughs> this is about finding our feet. This is about teaching ourselves self-love, right? We've learned, we need to love ourselves. Don't wait for someone else to love us. We weren't loved as children, we were abused as children, we were made fun of, we were ostracized. Well, we have to love ourselves. You can't love another until you have learned to love yourself. So may the young ones have wise teachers who teach them through our mistakes so that you don't have to go through the things that we've learned. And every false step that we take may it be followed by a wise step. A way that we can, yes, we did this, we learned this, we saw this, and now we're not gonna make that same step again. We're gonna allow ourselves to be reborn. We don't have to die to be reborn in this world. We can awaken now. May us, us, the ones who have struggled and fought and argued and been stubborn and finally figured our way, <clears throat> teach the young ones how to take care of our land, what's important, the importance of growing healthy, unpolluted food and taking that kind of food in. Teach them that we need to go back to the old ways in some ways. Yes, we move forward in some ways, but we also need to go back in some ways, living off the land to where it was simpler. It's not healthy what you buy at the grocery store anyway. This is about nature coming back, changing the world, because clearly the elders didn't understand. They fucked things up. We need to teach the young ones to bring it back and recognize that they've got the strength to be able to change things because we are creating the future in front of us. Those of us who are passing the torch down to the ones after us, 
letting them recognize the mistakes. <clears throat> These ones have passed away or going away. Their way of doing things is wrong. We're teaching these ones that they are now the light in the world. And this world needs to see change. And it can be changed. And the way we change it is by respecting the land and the animals and one another. This is safety and peace. That's a blessing that we ask for. At 40 minutes and 23 seconds, we go to the crystal seaweed. Crystal seaweed, the, the mix between heaven, water, and earth, all here. <clears throat> Justice, wow, that's awesome. That's a really awesome message to wrap up on, I gotta tell you. Thank you, spirit. <clears throat> Scales of justice. We see our archangels all lit up in the sky. We see the balancing scales here. Right now, it's tipped too far on that side. There needs to be a balancing act happening here. And we see Ganesh moving forward, the obstacle remover. It's calling in the karmic justice. Come on. Let's come balance the scales because right now, Things are not, not fair. They're not balanced. I've removed all the bullshit in front of you and now justice will be done. Fair decisions will be made after all the evidence is reviewed impartially. So bring all the information forward. Let the truth be spoken, let the truth be seen, and let spirit's will be done in a fair way. This is a time when something is required of us. This is a time when we are being asked. And that's why we got in the beginning of this reading. Step back, stay quiet. Say nothing, watch. Because there are things that have been brought to the light. And now at this time, we're in a challenging situation. And there's the need for patience while the other side of the story is told. Family, we look at elephants. Elephants are very, very family oriented. They're extremely loyal to one another. They help one another out. They don't leave another wounded one behind. And the elephant is the one that comes forward, letting you know that we will see that justice is done within the family, whether this be birth family or soul family, we are loyal. And we are responsible and we are wise and we are stable. And we have the ability to be empathetic and see both sides, all sides. That's why Ganesh, the obstacle remover is being represented. So this is speaking to you about a person in your life that emulates this or a situation in your life. It, it, the infinity symbol infinitely wise, infinitely stable, infinitely secure. To me, that's only spirit that is that. There's no person that I trust 100%. There's no person that is, has been loyal to me 100%. There's been no person that's been responsible 100%, wise or stable, but spirit is. So right now, spirit is telling you there is someone that you can trust and that you can rely on. And you may not believe that, you may not feel that, I don't. But Spirit's asking for us to believe in this. They're also asking for us to stand up for what we believe in and fight for fairness and equality, which I have no problem doing, right? Fighting for the underdog, fighting for the truth. Whatever it is, there's going to be a resolution. That's why Ganesh is here. If there is a legal dispute that you've been involved in, you're the winner. <laughs> you're the winner. A just decision is going to be made. This is like the best message ever. The size and the greatness of an elephant. I mean, they're so majestic. They're slow movers. 
but they can bust through every obstacle. Nothing's not, you know, there's not much that can stop one. There's power. They're very smart too. They can figure things out. They know how to get people out of difficult situations. Humans, they've been known to save. They work together doing that. They're very, very compassionate and loving. Ganesh is a beautiful, beautiful symbol. You think about, they will risk their lives to save others, especially the little ones that get themselves into trouble. This is telling you something that I'm feeling right now and that someone else in your life might be feeling right now. That the person that's getting this message feels unsafe or might be living in fear. And this is letting you know that justice is gonna be done. And this is beautiful because this blessing is again telling you, you will be shielded and safeguarded. This is the queen of swords. This is the queen of truth. This is the high priestess. This is the magician, all in one. She's got potions. She's got the sword of truth. She's got the animal messengers. She's got the intuitive abilities. She's going to speak. Nothing's gonna stop her from speaking her truth and seeing that justice is done. She works with Ganesh. These birds are looking up to her. They're waiting for her. This is female Merlin. This is the Celtic goddess. This is the elfin fairy, the queen. This is the queen of swords, the queen of earth the queen of air, the queen of fire. This is all queens wrapped in one. This is the empress. The empress saying, spirit is protecting you and safeguarding you and shielding you after everything that you've been through and after everything that's been done and what you may be still going through at this time. This is a Celtic blessing. I, I resonate with this so strong I can't even tell you. shielding and safeguarding. This is beautiful. I love this. I love this. This is the strongest energy coming forward. Working with this one to bring about safety and justice to the one who is feeling like they've got no hope. This is about safeguarding the animals. This is about safeguarding the land. This is, this is absolute safety and trust and you can feel secure and, and recognize that someone's coming to the rescue. This one knows how to invoke the power of the earth, the power, she knows how to call the animals forward. Look at them lifting her cloak around her. They're assisting her. So if you feel like there's no way out and you feel that nothing is going to happen, you can't find your way, don't worry. That's why Spirit said, just let it go, relax, just let it be. You take care of yourself and we're going to take care of this situation. We're going to take care of it. You are completely protected, shielded, surrounded, no reason for fear. I love this. Thank you. That's the end of our reading today. 49 minutes and 21 seconds in. Take time for you today. <laughs>